Well, we have made it out here to our first stop on this leg of the trip to Texas 66 RV Park, just outside of the downtown area of Shamrock, Texas. This place is so beautiful. It's surprising how just the expansive sky and fields and openness are just so inspiring. It is windy, but it is amazing. Look how long these pull-through sites are. They're like 100 feet long. Really awesome. The thing that we are most fired up about is getting to go and check out Shamrock, Texas. If you didn't know, this little town along the historic Mother Road, Route 66, is a fantastic place that they have taken the time to reserve multiple locations and keeping them up as historic landmarks for you to come with your family to check out. It is awesome, but today we are going to go check out something that we've seen before. Yes a little bit of Disney in Texas. This is awesome. So if you've ever been to Disneyland, you've been to Radiator Springs, and you're familiar with Ramon's body art. Well, out here in Shamrock, Texas, they have the Conoco Tower building and the You Drop In Cafe, which is what inspired that awesome architecture and artwork that you see when you go down to Radiator Springs or in the movies. It's fantastic to see it. It is exact. I mean, everything down to the, yeah, like the neon, everything. It's, it's just amazing to see all of the details. Imagine getting to see this at night. So cool. It's so neat to see how much this building is exactly done. It's just perfect in the movie. Amazing. Coming out here, this, I mean, you can just walk around outside even if it's not open, but it is such a neat thing how beautifully this town has maintained and respected this historical landmark that they have here. Look at that Art Deco, amazing. Currently, the entire building is being used as a visitor center. So you come and you get to talk to the people inside. They are so helpful and so nice. There's little things you can buy, of course, a lot of Route 66 merch and everything, but getting to see where everybody's been from visiting, it's awesome. Right there, Tonga. Oh, very cool. <laughs> you just have people from everywhere. What a, yeah. Fun, yeah. what a fun job to be here and it meeting is. people from all over the place. And we just have more fun. Yeah, you just get to meet. Look at the U.S. one, though. Wow. It yeah, looks almost sorry. like it's a beaded, uh, you know. Sometimes we have to clear out Dallas. Oh. You know, we have to clear out. You know, just pull some Because it just gets too bulky. Yeah, they get... Dallas area, you know, Nashville, Tennessee, or something. So directly next door and actually attached is the U Drop-In Cafe. Yes, Elvis Presley has eaten here and they are very proud and will tell you stories. Be sure to read all the information there. It is so cute to hear the stories of kids just looking in the windows from outside. This place, it's like a time capsule. It is so cool down to the hats on the hat racks, the glass in the lamps, in the lamps and the lampshades. It is awesome to go inside of here. Now, something that you can do is you can get behind the counter and take pictures and such, at least when we were here. But I have heard that they have now opened up and are serving food once again, at least milkshakes I know for sure. But beyond that, check it out. I would have loved to have gotten to take the kids in here to enjoy breakfast or something. It reminds me of like a Woolworths counter, which we had back where I grew up. And you, you know, you get that grilled cheese sandwich with American cheese and white bread with a little side of sliced pickles. It's just, and those french fries, ah, I could smell it right now. But look at this place. I mean, can you even believe it? They even have a gal, you know, a mannequin wearing the uniform of the day. It's just something. And again, the volunteers here 
are so happy to share with you the stories of what was here and how it's you know changed how they managed to preserve everything it is so cool i think that this was i mean for me it was really fascinating for us it was really fascinating but for the kids it was awesome and yes if you didn't know shamrock texas does sit about halfway along the mother road so if uh, you can pick up here and go right or left and you're going to get a great trip all the way i had to go check out the bathrooms this is amazing i love that they've actually set up props you know to kind of give you a sense of what what look at the heater like heavens you know of just life back then it's so cool this building was built in the 30s um, it is just a, a really neat tribute the way that they preserve this I I just can't get enough of it you can tell from the pictures how well preserved this whole space is the booths are the same in the pictures as they are today such a cool thing And again, obviously, but still, all of this was free. It's incredible. You got to come out here. Ah, what I would have done to have seen it at night. That would have been a really cool treat. The U Drop In. One thing I did notice is the sign for the U Drop In Cafe is a little different. If you look here at an old postcard photo, check out this like Mater replica. I love that it's kind. It's like it's what would have inspired Mater. It doesn't. It's not trying to be Mater. If that makes sense, it doesn't say things on the side. But what a cool thing. So awesome, no parking. <laughs> and especially fun. Right next to it, you get Tesla chargers. <laughs> Gotta love it. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright oh, You and I, we got it Crickets see the moon Side by side and through 